Welcome back to the second entry in the five things you may have missed for Kamen Rider Geo, the 20th and final Heisei era rider. Last episode we looked at the premiere and this episode is the following final part to a two-part arc. Let's get underway. Thanks for joining me again. Here are some of the fun things I noticed with this episode. Number five. Many of the characters are still at this point very mysterious, like these other two villains who haven't even been introduced yet other than the opening. But even more mysterious is that of Wolzu, who has been in both episodes and even starts this one off by reading from his book about the preceding events and even future events. Now this form of narration has been very popular in Japanese culture, especially in the theater arts, and even reminded me of another toku series that had a similar approach. Kakudanger has the announcer who bookended all episodes from the first arc of the show and even became part of it once during the second arc. Now Wazu is a bit more unique though, since he actually appears to be a main character instead of someone just making random appearances. I wonder what other clues for the future we will gain when someone inevitably gets this book away from him. Number 4. I find myself enjoying the suit designs of Geo and Gaze with each passing episode, but the one thing that has bugged me so far, and this only made me dig into it more after the new bike was revealed, is this small NXD that appears on both base forms of both riders and their bikes. So while this is just an over-stylized version of the katakana for common with the visor reading rider, it still reads NXD, but NXD immediately makes me think of next decade, which is fitting in many ways since in decade this was a common phrase, and with Geode, well, this is the next decade. Decade also had this way of using DCD as an identifier for the show, so NXD is probably a spiritual successor to that. It could also stand for Nexus, which is one of the more prominent English words used in the opening, but more curious about the opening is the title card for Omajio. The Japanese reads as Next Regendo, or Next Legend, with the actor to play him currently either uncast or revealed. And this leads me to another retroactive thing that you may have missed from last episode, but what do you think of NXD? Does it actually stand for something yet? Let me know down below. Number three. Obviously Omajio and Sogo sound nothing alike. 50 years will do that to you. But the voice actor they used for Omajio has another role already on the show. Rikia Koyama, who voices the evil king in the future, also voices both the Jiku driver and ride watches. It's interesting to think about the possibilities and coincidences of this. Number two. This one is more critical of the storyline and plot points of the episode, and you can tell me they discuss and say not to worry about it in the point five episode, but this is just really awkward. So anyway, in 2018, Sogo goes to find Bill to help him with the evil monster build and finds him without prior knowledge of Kamen Rider. During their meeting, Gaze destroys the build monster, or one of them, it's not really clear, and suddenly because he's destroyed, Sento and Banjo somehow regain their powers and memory, as if destroying him last episode didn't mean anything. Sogo goes back to 2017 to destroy the monster from the start, but that makes me wonder, has this build monster been running around for an entire year just sucking up athletes? Why is no one else concerned with this yet? Ah, oh, yeah, I forget that this is the same guy who wrote Nin Ninja. Number one. Now, I can't possibly count all of the times I've ever truly been concerned for suit actors in these shows. They have one of the hardest jobs, with sometimes limited time or visibility to make our shows as awesome as they are. They deserve our utmost respect. Now, while a lot of these can sometimes be funny, like in Ghostsager's opening, this one actually made me worry for the actor in the build monster suit because he totally doesn't land this well. It's kind of awkward in general to watch, but if you know anything about falling correctly, this could cause some issues. All you can really say is hopefully the person who was in that suit is okay, but seeing as they didn't refilm this, it makes me wonder if there were more complications because of it. Anyway, that's all I have for this time. What was your favorite one I pointed out? Or did you see something I may have missed? Let me know down below. I read all the comments and I have been just floored by the responses from the last video. And in light of that, I will be turning this into a tentative series for every two episode arc. So basically the next one will be on episodes three and four. While you're still here, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing so that you can see the next one as soon as it drops. And I also wanna thank all of my current Sentai tier Patreons and above for your love and support, and a reminder that anyone on any tier see these videos early and get some cool access over on my Discord. Thanks for watching, check out one of these videos I've picked for you below, and be sure to have a great day.